Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to calculate the maturity value of a single payment loan. Before we get started um, with some examples, let's go over the formulas that will guide our problem solving process. Okay, So there are two formulas that we're going to take a look at. Um, when we want to calculate the maturity value of a single payment loan. The first has to do with the interest on the loan. Okay, So let's write that down. The interest on the single payment loan. Okay, now um, to calculate the interest on a single payment loan, this can be broken further into two parts. We have exact interest and we have ordinary interest. I'll show you both formulas and then let's see if you can de determine what the difference is between the exact interest computation formula and the ordinary interest computation formula. Okay, so for um, exact interest is going to be principal multiplied by the interest rate in decimal form multiplied by the time divided by 365. Okay, um, this is how you compute the exact interest. All right, now how about the ordinary interest? This is a formula for the ordinary interest. You compute the product of the principal times the interest rate in decimal form times the time, it should be in days, okay? Time in days divided by 360. This is a formula for the ordinary interest. Now, if you take a look at these formulas, can you see the difference between the exact interest computation formula on top and the ordinary interest computation formula? Do you see what the difference is? The difference is the denominator of um, the time calculation. Okay, If you look at the exact interest, you're dividing by 365. That's exactly um, how many days there are in a year. Okay, And then 360 is not that exact. You don't have 360 days in a year. You're five days short. So if you want to calculate the exact interest, you use this formula on top, and if you want to calculate the ordinary interest, you use this formula on the bottom. Okay, The problem that you're solving will tell you exactly which kind of interest that you are to compute. Okay, so we have now written down the formula for the interest. Now the maturity value of the single payment loan is basically how much you have to pay back when the loan is due. Okay, unlike installment loan, um, single payment loan requires you to pay all the interest and the principal at the same time. Okay, so the maturity value is equal to the principal, the money that you borrowed, plus the interest owed. And um, as indicated earlier, your interest could be exact or ordinary, whichever one the problem specified. You will add it to your principal and that will help you compute the maturity value of the single payment loan. Now let's consider the following example. Question. Kayla was granted a single payment loan of $50,000 for 150 days at an exact interest rate of 7%. How much interest is she going to have to pay on the $50,000? And what is the maturity value of her loan? We're going to start by 
calculating how much interest Kayla is going to pay um, for the $50,000 loan for 150 days at an exact interest of 7%. Let's write down the formula again just to refresh our memories. Um, the formula for exact interest in this case, how do we know that it is exact? It's indicated here in the problem. We're looking at the exact interest rate of 7%. So the exact interest she's going to pay is going to be the principal times the rate in decimal form multiplied by the time divided by how many days there are in a year exactly? 365. Okay? So let's. Um, specify what we know. We know what the principal is. Principal is how much she was loaned. The principal is $50,000. What's the rate? This rate is basically determined annually, like our annual rate. So the rate is 7%, but we have to convert this to decimal form. So 7% is basically 7 divided by 100 percent, that's what it means, so um, 7 over 100 in decimal form, you move the decimal point the same number of times as the zeros you have, so there are two zeros on the 100, so it's going to be point zero seven. okay? So it's really important for you to convert your rates to decimal form before you proceed with your calculations. Okay, now we have the rate. How much time is Kayla uh, going to have the money for? She's going to have the money for 150 days. So that's the time. Now we have all the information we need to calculate the exact interest Kayla is going to pay for this loan. So let's input it into the exact interest formula. Okay, so the exact interest is going to be principal of 50,000 times the rate, 7% in decimal form is 0 0.07, times the time of 150 divided by the number of days in a year, 365. All right, now let's input this product of numbers into our calculators. Okay, so we have 50,000 times 0 0.07 times 150 divided by 365. Enter. So we have 1,438.36. We're going to round up, okay? So that's the interest she's going to pay. So we have uh, 1,000. Four hundred thirty-eight dollars thirty-six cents. So let's um, contextualize our answer. What does this figure mean? Um, so it means that Kayla pays an exact interest. of um, $1,438.36 on the loan. Okay, so that is the answer to the first part of the question. What were we asked to find in the second part? We're now asked to find what the maturity value is for her loan. Now, do you recall what the formula is for computing the maturity value? To help refresh your memory, let's go ahead and write it, it down first, um, and then we will apply it to this particular scenario. So the maturity value is given by the principal, the amount of money that Kayla borrowed, principal plus the interest. In this particular case, we're going to be looking at the exact interest. All right, so that's the formula for computing uh, the maturity value. 
So what's the principle? How much money um, did she borrow? The principal amount is $50,000 as indicated earlier. How much interest did she pay? Her exact interest is $1,438.36. Okay, so this is all we need to compute the maturity value of her loan, okay? So let's go ahead and do it. So maturity value is going to be the intra I'm I'm sorry, the principal fifty thousand plus the interest one thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars thirty six cents. Okay? And then if you add these two together you have fifty one thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars 36 cents as the maturity value okay let's contextualize the answer um, the maturity value value of Kayla's loan loan is $51,400 Thirty-eight dollars thirty-six cents. This is exactly how much Kayla should have ready to pay back at the end of the one hundred and fifty days loan period. Okay, so this is basically how to calculate the maturity value of a single payment loan. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of our personal finance, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and beneficial to us. If you have any questions about the material we covered in this presentation or any um, math questions in general, just place your questions in the comments section below and we'll be more than glad to address your questions or concerns. We update videos um, to our YouTube page on a regular basis, so do, do subscribe to our channel so that you can get updated whenever we upload um, high quality math tutorials to our YouTube page. For more cool clips and math information, go ahead and visit our website at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.